Hello everyone, I am Alex, the Highland Gamer, and I am waiting currently for Sora's DLC to download in my console. So, welcome back everybody, nice to see you again, and I hope this, the, this content downloads very soon, because I am very eager to play a Sora. Okay, come on, come on. Please download fast. Come on, please download fast. I want to start playing Asura. Okay. Alright. So now, let's listen for one final time the intro song. Okay. Come on. Okay, let's just start fighting. Okay, so Sora is finally here. Yay! Very good. Okay, a stage and music also typical. Yeah, I don't care about that. Thank you so much. I will. I am here to fight. So, hmm, I think I will try Sora in classic mode. Let's see. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what's up with Sora. Okay, I don't like that skin. He looks too childish. A little bit more badass, okay. Oh, classic Disney. I like it. Okay. So let's see. Okay, I believe 5.0 would be an intermediate level of difficulty. So let's see who my first rivals will be Dark Link and Junk Link. Well, Dark Link and Dark Junk Link. Okay, so let's fight them. Hmm, I hope they don't spam me with bombs because that would be really annoying. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Alright, let's zoom against them. Okay, spam some fireballs. Okay, let's take control of the situation with me. Wait! This is a stamina mode? Holy shit, then I need to be very careful with what I do. What is that animation? The other's classic mode doesn't have that animation. That looks amazing. Okay, let me adjust the volume on my on my screen because Okay, so a horde of Mr. Game and Watch is my next rival. Oh my god, this could get out of control very easily, and I really should check my my stamina gauge. Okay, so hmm, that that big Mr. Game and Watch will be a problem. So maybe thank God Zora is very floaty. Okay. Anyway, so that Mr. Game. Wait! What happened to all my health? Oh no! Should I continue or should I give up and start over? Okay, let's continue. So, I am very new to Sora, so I'm not expecting perfection my first time controlling it. Let's see, let's see if I can finish this up without any more game over And Seriously, that animation looks so amazing. Okay. 
So now I have a battle against Cloud. So hmm, let's try fighting him a little bit more aggressive. Aggressively. So let's see if I can bring him out. I don't think so. But hmm, let's see what we can do against him. So, Alright. Apparently I have this pretty much under control. But I'm not going to trust it. Okay, especially because I have to monitor my health gauge uh, more. Okay. So. Okay. All I need is one solid hit. And oh my god, that looks so amazing. I love it. I really love it. I wonder if that animation will also be played when you play as Aura on online. That would be so freaking cool. Okay, so three robins. Okay, what is going to be the gimmick here? Ready? Oh no, Go! they are going to spam me with magic projectiles. Oh no, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay, how can I better control this crowd? Oh no, they are wrecking me. Okay, all they need is one solid. Yep, I'm pretty much dead. Okay, let's continue. Let's hope this is the last game over. But I'm not holding my breath on this. Okay. So, let's see. Okay. All I need is one very solid hit on all of them to eliminate them. Okay, so that's it for the two lackeys. Now, let's get rid of the big boy. And seriously, that animation looks so amazing, and that pose was just perfect. Okay. Okay. Now against Ganondorf. Okay. Oh no, this is a giant Ganondorf. So not only will he hit like a truck, but also this is going to hurt a lot. He has a lot of reach. Oh no, what can I do? Control this. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I will try to rush him with my special. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Sakurai warned us! And I didn't listen! Oh no! Let's continue. Uh, okay. I need to get used to the controls of Zora. I feel very weird. Uh, his floatiness is not helping me. Okay. Come on, I only need a very solid hit. Oh no, I'm in pro I'm in troubles. Ugh, he could have finished me. He could have finished me. I mean, I'm not going to question it, but come on, I could have died there. Okay. So, let's continue, okay? A fight against Sora. So, let's see what I can learn from the CPU. Okay. Alright. Okay, his attack is pretty nice, but I don't know. Okay. This looks like it's going to be a close a close fight between the two of us, but I'm not sure. Okay. What can I do to control him? Okay. Ah, seems like I have pretty much everything under control, but once again when it looks like it Okay. Yeah, no, I had it. Okay, so what's next after Sora, after round 6? I believe it was the bonus game, right? Yes, it's the bonus game. So, I will take a moment to reflect. Okay, so, in general, I think that Sora is a pretty cool character. It borrows a lot from other sword fighters and also uh, other characters that you wouldn't believe. Uh, for example, he is very floaty, like Mewtwo or Rosalina, uh, but sadly, 
Mewtwo is not one of my mains, Rosalina, well, I more or less know how to control her because of because of my friend and, and well, he, he taught me a little bit of strategies on how to control Rosalina, but Sora feels very different, I feel very weird by his clothiness. Okay, so with this, this is complete stage and Let's see what's up in the final stage. Master Hand and Crazy Hand. I think Sephiroth. I think Sephiroth would have been a better fit, especially considering Sephiroth is already a uh, 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 super boss in the Kingdom Hearts franchise. But hey, I'm not complaining. Master Hand and Crazy Hand are like the mascots of this game. So, well. The the go-to bad guy of this game. Okay. So uh, I need to take advantage that Master Hand is down. Okay. Come on. Let me Let me wreck you guys. Okay. Ooh, Master Hand the, I mean Crazy Hand is down. I should take advantage stupid boulders. Okay. Come on, come on. Alright, why did I jump into those rings? Ugh! Okay, okay, I'll take it. Whatever. Okay. Uh, the percentage is very high. They could launch me out very easily. Oh no. Sudden death. I need to be very careful because if they launch me... Uh, well, away from those margins, I'm dead. Okay, so... Uh, okay, I didn't see that one coming. That's on me. Alright. So, let's resume the battle against them. Okay, and I hope this is the last game over. Please. I really hope this is the last game over. Uh, let me, let me beat you up! Okay, I want to beat you up, come on! Give me that opportunity. Ugh. They stunt me. Okay, let's got the laser. Okay, and I just got rid of Master Hand. So that means only Crazy Hand is left. So let's wail on it. On it? I don't know, what would be the proper pronoun for a disembodied hand? Okay, let's finish this up. Goodbye! Okay, and with this we have completed the classic mode um, with Sora, so uh, let's wrap up with some conclusions about the game. So, I first got a Smash Bros. Ultimate in January of 2019 because that's when I got my Nintendo Switch. I got it like two weeks after I got my Nintendo Switch and it was because... Uh, I invited my best friend from the university, who is also a fan of the Smash Bros. And I remember spending like three complete days trying to unlock every single character. And if you saw the roster at the beginning, there are over 80 characters. So, oh my god, I can't believe I unlocked every single one of them. I mean, of course, when I, when I got the game, uh, there were only... 73 I think without the DLC okay and well in general every single character that was added as part of the DLC I believe is very unique to the composition you know every single character adds something unique to the table for example I really like how Joker is is especially an assassin and you can use it very well and if you can use it very well he is one of the most amazing characters that was added to the roster for example even though Violet is not very popular i can appreciate his variety with the arsenal of the holy weapons in fire emblem three houses especially because he uses every single one of the three sacred relics that that, that, that belong to every one of the main characters, Age of God, Dimitri, and, and Claude. Okay, and obviously his own, well, their own 
a relic. Okay, and I think that every single character is very special. I mean, I'm not a fan of playing as Kazuya from Tekken, because holy shit, that, that, that dude is very difficult to control. But I can appreciate what the intention was, I can feel the, I can feel the core gameplay and I believe that if I picked up a, a Tekken game, it would be very interesting and it would give me a very good idea on how to control the, the Tekken games. I mean, I played Soul Calibur a lot when I had it on the GameCube, so I more or less have an idea of how the characters control in Namco fighting games. So, let's see. Okay, this mini game in the credits is a tradition, I believe, since it's my brother's too. And I think I broke my record. How much, how many points did I get? 1,563,600. Not bad. So, with this, I I think that a Smash Bros. has been a unique experience and I would like to thank everyone for uh, coming with me in this video. Thank you so much and see you next time. Goodbye.